hello hello so welcome back to my channel for those who are on youtube remember to like and subscribe so the message of today is about new wine and it's found in luke chapter 5 verse 37 to 39 and you should understand from this message that the new wine represents the holy spirit now the, the verse tells us that new wine cannot be put in old wine skins new wine here is represented by the coming of christ or birthing of a new mindset which is the Holy Ghost or Spirit. This new mindset or Holy Spirit cannot operate in the old wineskins. You cannot put new wine in old wineskins. The wineskins will be burst and the wine will be spilled. The, wine, the old wineskins here represent your vessel or your body, which is going to carry the Holy Spirit. So, when this Holy Spirit comes and enters your body or your flesh, it will have to fight with the old wine skin, which represents your flesh. Hence, for you to be able to keep this new wine, you have to let go of your fleshly desires. Your fleshly desires here refers to your lower mind. And your lower mind actually is represented by your emotional state of being. Okay, And your emotions always lead to jealousy, anger, envy, wrath and fear among other emotions which operate and are found in time they operate in time because an emotion is a reaction at that moment okay now the new wine in new wine skins i'm still in this verse new wine in new wine skins i just believers in christ to let go of their old mindset or let go let go of your lower mind or emotional state new wine in new wine skins tells us that the holy spirit has to occupy a new body you have to prepare your vessel in order to be a habitation for the holy ghost now here there's a snippet that i'll add you should understand that when you don't have the holy spirit there are some things that you'll observe in your life i want to give you a basic example you will find that in your surrounding where there is no Holy Spirit, there will be a lot of dirt or filth. And that's why I'm saying that there is no Holy Spirit in that area. That's why when you go to an area where there are a lot of mud people, you will always find them that their surroundings are very dirty. Or Another secret is that you should know that where you find a heap of garbage, especially near markets and towns, you should know that these areas tend to be altars into the underworld. Those are altars, and that's why they are that field. And that's why you always find mad people going around there. Now, you have to let go of your old mindset, which entertains the worldly desires in order to embrace the Holy Spirit. Also, you should understand that Having drunk old wine, immediately you do not desire new wine. But people tend to desire or say the old wine is better. Here, in the same verse of Luke chapter 5, verse 7 to 39, it tells us that a person who has taken old wine or is infilled with the old spirit or emotional state of mind, he does not desire the new wine, but will tell you that old wine tastes better. This Tells you, tells you or shows you that immediately when you come into accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you will not change at that period or at that time. What will happen is you will change after a period of time and you will change after letting go of the old, letting go of the old systems of belief, all the things that you are taught through your religion or your belief systems and embracing the new and in order to embrace the new you have to have the holy spirit in you or be infilled with the holy spirit for the holy spirit is the spirit that will teach you and will guide you and tell you where to go and where to find a new knowledge or new wine also after a period of time the new wine will increase and the old wine will decrease eventually the holy spirit will be able to overcome the flesh and rule over your flesh, leading to establishment of the of God's kingdom 
both in the spirit and in the earth, which will understand that after some time, the Holy Ghost will be able to fight or overcome your lower state of mind and be able to rule your flesh. And after this is when you will start manifesting God kingdom, God's kingdom. That's when your problems, you see your problems starting uh, migrating or ending in your life. Why? Because these problems that were surrounding you, they were attracted to you, they were attracted to, ener to your energy. Also, remember in my account, I had made a video about energies and how in this world, the highest form of currency is energy, which is represented by blood. You should understand that the energies that you are, you have, or the what people refer to as aura, those energies that you have, you have in yourself or in your altar, is what is attracting the things that you are going through in your life. In order for you to manifest a new form of life, or you want a certain problem that has been persisting in your family or your lineage to end. You have to embrace a new form of energy which comes in the form of the Holy Spirit. So I pray for you and I also urge you that you may receive the Holy Spirit and you may receive Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. The reason I'm encouraging you to receive Jesus is that in hell there is no other name that will save you. For actually, if you are in deeper problems, in the spirit world, your spirit or your soul is in hell. So for you to be able to be saved or to manifest new desires and things, your soul has to be removed from hell. And for your soul to be delivered from hell, you have to ensure that you know Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. And you should understand that not all problems can be solved just by reading the word or going to churches on Sunday. No, there are some problems that are deeper. For example, you may find that you have to fight with principalities in your life. And by principalities, I mean that you have to fight with powerful forces that have taken over your life. Maybe it's through yeah. uh, uh, death, maybe through sexual immorality. Those are very powerful principalities. And to overcome these principalities, you also have to embrace fasting. You have to embrace fasting and you have to know how to pray in meditation. And also you have to wake up to pray because majority of these principalities operate during the night hours. So in order for you to overcome them, you should know that at least at night for a start, because as you have seen, you will not change immediately. The changes will come after some time. For a start, you should try and pray during the night hours because that is when witches cast spells for the next day. So ensure at night, especially between one and three, you have woken up and said a prayer so that you may be able to overcome these principalities. Thank you for listening to my message. I hope you have gotten something from my message. Please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. So, thank you.